So just a quick video on how to skim coat a stucco wall. Uh, <clears throat> the wall back here used to be uh, stones like that. So you guys don't see it, but I gave it the first coat already, kind of like a scratch coat, left it a little rough. So the second one will uh, attach on faster. As you can see there, we started. It looks a little rough, but once it dries a little more, this is a float, wooden float. We'll give it a rub down and it'll come out smoother. Um, tools you'll need. I don't even know the name, spatulas here. The, this is like a, a stucco holder. You can make it with just a piece of plywood and a dowel or anything. You don't have to buy anything special. So then you could just flip it upside down and just to mix it to the consistency we want. You can read the directions on the back of the thing, but who wants to read, right? So just trial and error. Uh, I put about, this is a five gallon bucket, so I put about maybe half of this uh, water in there and we mix it with, uh, I think that's called a, what's that called? A hoe? Or, no, it's not a backhoe. I think that's a hoe. Um, So we push it, we pull it all to one side, a lot of it to one side first. So that way here, it'll just be like a pool of water. And then you can kind of, it's easier to mix that way. Because if you just pour the water straight on top, it and like uh, solidifies the top layer of mortar. And it'll be a lot harder for you to mix the bottom layer. Uh, approximately the whole thing. There we go. So, and then now he can just push mortar into the pool of water and, and just mix the whole thing. See how he, he it allows him, because we pulled the water on one side and the mortar on the other, it allows him to just pull the mortar into the water. See what first looked like a lot of water. Now that he's gotten to the end, it, it will actually need a little more water because it's clumping up, meaning it's a bit too dry now with the second coat of stucco you want it to then the first coat the first coat needs to be nice light and th uh, thin uh, thick enough just so it won't droop or fall but you need it you need it to be thinner so that it spreads so much easier because the first coat takes a lot more um, to spread because these stones and especially on older homes stones and bricks especially uneven like this that's why the wall is so uneven um it it sucks up moisture like no one's business so even now even though we have the second coat we're still gonna wet the wall a little bit so as we're nearing the end for the mixing it, we see that it came out a little too wet for our liking so we like to keep an open bag handy just to sprinkle some on top just to thicken it up so now that it's ready to be applied, what I like to do, I have a hose that just doesn't reach this side of the wall. That little cup or anything, honestly, to spray it down and just wet, just give the wall a little wetness because stucco or mortar or cement in general loves to suck up moisture. So if you don't give it moisture to suck up beforehand, it'll suck the moisture from your mixture and it won't stick as well essentially uh hold on i'll give you guys a quick look at because this is the second coat um it's easier for me to do it like this because the surface isn't too uneven whereas like as you saw over there on the first coat the stones super uneven so we have to apply it differently but i'll show you this one okay to spread it out on the thing like i said you can buy these i'm not sure what they're called i'll put a link in the description to something or i just made this with plywood and 
press it up here and just a nice steady coat like that. That'll happen. Take it with this stucco mortar mix. You want to throw it on there so it sticks. And then I'm just going to give it a nice flatten out because the whole purpose of me doing this is I want to paint the entire exterior. So I want to get a nice smooth surface um, to help it help the paint apply on smoother. And that'll be another video. And we'll do. Hi. Hey, buddy. I'm going to theme to celebrate. Oh, nice. You're going to have fun? Yeah. Awesome. You got him a good present? Yeah, it's an egg. It's an egg? Yeah, a dinosaur Oh, that sounds awesome. He's got fun stuff. Fun stuff? Yeah. Oh, I see you got your snacks too. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Have fun at the party, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> see you later. Ain't no wild crocodile. Essentially, we're, we're just going to keep doing that uh, for the rest of the walls. So in some spots, it won't fit to, so that you can slide the thing up. So you want to make sure, this is why you need it wet enough, but not too wet, because you, you need it to stick. Now, there's different methods of throwing it on the wall. I like to grab a little on the tip, like this, and then in an upward motion. Here. Upward motion, throw it. Sometimes you could fling it as well. Flick it. Flick it. Um, just something muscle memory you get used to. And I clearly have not fully gotten used to. All right. Yes, that's it. And then you can spread it out from there. Don't worry about whatever falls. Pick you it get, up later. You can pick it up later. It's a waste of time if you worry about every little piece that falls. And then you can just spread it out as you see fit. Yep, that's it. Perfect. So we finished up the second coat on the wall. Now we're gonna fill in some cracks. The way your water seems to be seeping through uh, pretty high up. But so cracks like this, we're gonna have to open them up a little bit more. So that way the mortar mix and stucco or whatever uh, will hold a lot better. Cause if you put it directly over this, any loose material uh, will just, nothing will hold. And it's hard for the mortar to get into the, these small cracks. Um, and anything small like these fractured looking cracks, the thick latex waterproof paint that we're gonna use will, should cover it all. Make sure you wear goggles, folks. All right. I, uh, after using an angle grinder to kind of open up the gap a bit, this is what we finally get. And we'll fill that in with mortar and here where it's wood. Now the structure isn't wood. This is just like old and wooden shingles that they have. Behind it here, you can see it's brick. So it's not structural, it's just uh, the old style shingles. And they don't seem soft or um, like they're rotting or anything, so it should be fine. Well, especially once the, it's been fine for so long, especially after the waterproofing goes on. And this wider gap, as opposed to these thinner ones, you have to ha put something for the mortar mix to hold on to, to stick to, which is this netting. This comes in like bigger rolls and you can just cut it. Um, and the smaller cracks you don't really need it because it'll adhere to um, 
the other stucco or mortar mix.